God, and you sit beside me, and we're part of the same family, and we're unified, it has to be all right with you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, I realize, amen, that we are living in an hour where, amen, Satan is trying to divide us, but we have to come together. We have to endeavor. We got to strive to achieve unity. We got to strive to achieve division. We got to fight, amen, that devil. See, when you fight the devil, understand his tactic, and you understand that he's trying to be divisive, the first thing you do is say, hey, you know what? I know Satan is trying to be divisive. Let's go get a little lunch and make the devil mad. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. Uh, why don't you go over there and hug that sister and then hug that brother and say, we're in this thing together and I don't care how bad the devil try to fight me. If me and Monte had an issue, guess what? I'm going to make the devil even mad and I'm going to say, Monte, you know what? I still love you. Uh, y'all ain't saying nothing. You looked at me funny, but I still love you and you are my brother. Somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, we got to get that mindset to say, hey, I, I know you've done me wrong. Uh, but I forgive you, and I love you. And then when I do that, see, it make the devil so mad. And then they start squirming and say, well, how in the world was they just mad at each other yesterday and the day before that, and all of a sudden they over there holding hands and eating lunch? Well, because I'm endeavoring to keep the unity. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, look at somebody and say, neighbor. We got to come together so that we can live. If there is any dry bone in here, I come to prophesy today and say we're coming together. And I don't care how many devils, y'all ain't talking to me. I don't care how many devils strive to fight what God's trying to do. But I know the Bible said if God be for me, oh, I wish I had the right church. who could be against me? I found out that the Bible said if we're unified, if we come together, the Bible says there's no weapon form against me that shall prosper. Oh, look at your neighbor and I don't care how many weapons are formed, it cannot prosper. In fact, it can't destroy me because God built me and because I'm God's body. It's going to take more than the devil to destroy me. Don't you know, hallelujah, that Jesus they taught that he died, Lord have mercy, but when he died, oh God, they said, now I know that I put man in this grave. How in the world did he rise again? And I'm telling you this right now. You've probably been dead for three days. I glory to God. Hallelujah. You've probably been dead for two days. The ministry in you have been dying. But I'm here to let you know maybe that you're about to resurrect. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, that ministry that was inside of you, it's about to resurrect.
Let me give you a reminder. The Bible says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise a seven.
you forgave us. Go around and start loving people, tell them that you love them and you need them to survive.